Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles. You're getting me today for this video. Neon had to go do something, so I am alone on this one. Um, we're going to talk about um, the rumor that they're going to toll the Magic Kingdom. They're going to toll Walt Disney World in general. It's a very funny rumor. People are believing it. Um, it comes from Mousetrap News, which Mousetrap News is called Mousetrap News because it's a parody site. But it's what's interesting is is their stuff is is resonating is true with people because it does sound like something Disney would do. So people keep getting confused by these stories, thinking that they're legitimate stories. But the the scary part is that people believe it because it's gotten that bad. All right. So before we get into it any further, please like and subscribe. Um, if you do, I'll give you a woohoo, woohoo, and we're gonna talk about this. So. I had to put an article up the other day because people were like, oh my God, did you hear about Walt Disney World making tolls? And I'm like, that's I don't, not that I know of. And then when you look into it, it came from Mouse Trap News. Now, it's funny. Mouse Trap News is a satire website. It's labeled satire. It's called Mouse Trap because they, they make um, articles up and it's make stuff up. And the whole point is that it's satire. It's poking fun at Disney and it's satire because... It's so, you know, out there, it's believable, but it's still satire. So because of what Ron DeSantis said about, you know, they might put toll booths in at the parks or on the way into Disney parks and stuff, people have been like all worried this was going to happen. And then this article came out and some places ran with it, not realizing it was Mousetrap News. Little word of advice, if you hear something and you go in and you find it came from Mousetrap News, it's parody. It's not meant to be real. Okay. But this is hilarious. So I wanted to cover it because, again, not true, but funny as hell. Okay, so their, their article, they said, does Disney like taking your money? Obviously, the answer is yes, especially when they are struggling as a company. This is why they are charging you for Wi-Fi as well as charging 200 per person per day for Genie Plus. These are stories that they had put up there that sound believable. Disney, would, could they, would they charge you for Wi-Fi? I'm surprised they haven't done it yet. 200 person per day for Genie Plus? Well, they're cutting back prices, but you know, if they get desperate enough, it sounds plausible. A lot of this sounds plausible. So now they're talking about tail boosts. And here's where the rumor came from. They're saying that they're doing it to make more money and control crowds. And it's funny because Disney keeps making these dumbassery decisions like Genie Plus. And they're saying, oh, it's for crowd control. We're doing it to make your trip. You're paying us to make your trip better for you because it's going to be less people and it's going to be easier for you. Except it never is. If there's less people, it's because they're fleeing because your prices are too high. It's not because they're using Genie Plus. And it actually makes it more complicated for many people. And it costs you like way more to, to overcomplicate things. So um, they're talking about this. Uh, they're talking about the Mickey Mouse tax, which we reported on here. Again, not true but funny as heck. So they're talking about in addition to toll booths inside Walt well, Disney World is an interesting move by Disney because they said above here that they're going to start tolling you. I don't see here. They're going to toll you in and out. So like if you go to a theme park on the way in, you get pay, you have to pay on your way out. You have to pay. It was like five bucks. Okay. And so now they're saying about how they're going to do inside the parks too. This is a way to generate additional revenue for their guests inside the parks. How it will work is Walt Disney World will install toll booths at the entrances to many different areas of the theme park. It will cost guests $5 to go through a toll booth. Well, this doesn't sound like much. It will add up. That's because each time you leave and re-enter a land through the toll booth, you're required to pay the toll again. When you arrive at a toll booth, you will scan your magic band to go through it. The process will be fairly quick, much like scanning your magic band to use Genie Plus or Lightning Lane. This means that all guests are required to link a form of payment to their My Disney Experience app. Most people already do so, so they can pay for food. But if you haven't yet, you'll need to pay now. Or I'm sorry, to do now, same thing. So they said that there's going to be a toll booth at the entrance of every single land in the Magic Kingdom, there will also be toll booths at the entrance of Toy Story Land, Sunset Boulevard, Galaxy's Edge, and Animation Courtyard. In Epcot, the toll booths will be located at the entrance of Future World and World Showcase, as well as, as both Canada and Mexico leading into the World Showcase, which would make you pay again. Lastly, every land in Animal Kingdom will have toll booths at the entrances. And they were joking that it was going to cost you five bucks for everyone. And then they're saying... 
Clearly, there are tolls placed through Disney World, and they require you to go through the booth. This is where issues arise. As we mentioned above, I mean, they thought this this far ahead, okay? Guests will be required to pay a toll anytime they want to enter any area of the park, even if you paid the toll earlier that day. If you rope drop Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, then go to Space Mountain, followed by Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, all before noon, it'll cost each person $15 in toll fees. People are not happy about this. People were not happy about this when they heard about it because they believed it. And that's that's the point. That's what's scary is that parody has gotten to a point that it's so believable and plausible that people are like, you know, getting up in arms about stuff that's clearly a joke because it sounds like something Disney would do. Disney's got a problem here. Disney, if you're listening, which I know you do sometimes, if you're listening You've got a big PR problem here because these kind of like jokes, parody articles are now so plausible to people that they instantly believe it's true because of the crap you do. That's that's scary and sad. They've done other ones before. I know just recently everybody thought they officially canceled Snow White because it was on Mousetrap News. But because there's so much, you know, conflict about this and controversy and so many people don't want it to happen. Pretty much everyone's united on hating this thing. People believed it's like, oh, my God, it's getting canceled. I think it should be canceled. They doubled down and gave a release date, which now, depending who you ask, might get moved. And it might because they need those dates for the other movies they're, pa- they're pushing back to people want to see. But, yeah, people believe this. They might actually cancel it because of it. Um, this came from, that came from Mousetrap News. My personal favorite one I've seen from Mousetrap News was uh, from uh, earlier this year in June. And this was... <laughs> This one's funny. New woke scene coming to Carousel of Progress. Okay, they put up this. They put up this article. Oh my god, it's so funny. They put this article about the changes they're making because they need they need to make it more progressive. Walt Disney Company continues to make decisions based on diversity, equity, and inclusion rather than creating value for shareholders. This is the main reason why Governor DeSantis called in the National Guard to block the entrances to Disney World, as we reported here. Again, not true. Since then, Disney is uh, struck back by changing the Little Mermaid animatronic. I didn't see this one. What was this one? Disney is struck back by changing the Little Mermaid animatronic. Again, their story. Also, they announced all American flags will be pride flagged to Magic Kingdom in June. And Disney is stepping into this water again now with the Carousel Progress. The Carousel Progress is made before different scenes. If you've seen it, it was 1900s, the 1920s, the fabulous 40s, and the last place is supposed to be the future. Um, even though they haven't, they haven't updated it in years, so it looks like, you know, well, I guess they updated it recently, but it looks like it was a future from 20 years ago. So they're saying in 2023, the scene is outdated. After that, it was, it was fall in the fabulous 40s, and the last scene is supposed to be placed in the future, which obviously it doesn't, because, you know, we have voice-activated appliances and VR devices that look like they're, you know, very outdated. So they're saying, but it needs a bigger update than that. Um, the final scene is so outdated that despite Disney's recent efforts to update it, Disney changed a few of the outfits of the family. They did. However, there are some minor changes. The attraction truly needs to be vamped for the final scene updated, and that's what they're going to do. They're going to set the scene in the early 2100s, and they're going to do it this way. So the number of changes are going to be made. First off, the current scene celebrates Christmas. The new scene will take place in winter, and it will celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa to be more representative of cultures and lifestyles. They're also also updates some of the animatronics. Patricia will become the first ever transgender animatronic. Patricia is the daughter of John and Sarah and referred to as Patty. So the future scene, he will go by Pat and will be interchangeably used as male or female name. Disney will apparently change its look of Pat to appear a male versus female. And now people are calling it Carousel of Wokeness. Another update is the addition of an African-American animatronic. The new African-American animatronic will be Jimmy's boyfriend visiting for the holidays. Currently, the entire family is white. This allows them to add diversity to the ride and to the scene. In fact, the addition of the animatronic checks two boxes, diversity, and adds a gay couple. Disney thinks these changes make the ride more relatable to what the future will bring. However, it's controversial. Not true. None of it's true. People believed it. Because it's very believable. You would totally believe that Disney would do this. I mean, that's what's sad. It's like, you know, and there's like, there's like little kernels of truth to it. Like they're going to update the future scene. Well, everybody's been saying they need to update the future scene. That they can check two boxes with one additional animatronic. Something they would do. It's so believable that people fall for it. And it's just funny to me because people legitimately believed that they were going to have toll booths 
added inside the park so they could nickel and dime you even more. And it was a, it was a trending search result. So much that I had to put up, no, well, Disney World is not putting in toll booths because of it. But that, that's the issue. The issue isn't that it's a parody account. Because these you go out there and read some of the articles. They are flipping hilarious. I mean, I love Mousetrap News. It's funny as heck. But people cannot separate parody from reality anymore because it sounds so, you know, like something Disney would do. And that's, that is the problem Disney's having. They have become parody themselves with their over-the-top, so far ridiculous bullshit. They have become parody in everything they do because they, whatever you think they would do, just they go usually further than, than you'd expect. So that's what it is. If you see a story and, you know, but I mean, like for like the Snow White, you're going to think, my gosh, they canceled it. Yay. Because that sounds, that one sounds even more believable, you know? And people, and they're probably going to, you watch them cancel it now, no one will believe it because they'll think it was Mousetrap News. But it, it's so believable to people because it, it sounds so possible. Anyway. We're going to we're going to wrap this up. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos and other content. That's thereef.support.